In this video, I'm gonna show you the most broken part of Claude code that nobody is talking about. Recently, Anthropic shipped a ton of updates to Claude code, and I haven't seen anyone talk about this particular change. This is changing the game when it comes to AI coding and vibe coding. Let's jump into it. Okay, so buried in this entire post about Claude Opus 4.5, under product updates, there's actually a sentence here, which in my opinion, just changes the game when it comes to AI coding. Claude code gains two upgrades with Opus 4.5. Plan mode now builds more precise plans and executes more thoroughly. Claude asks clarifying questions up front, then builds a user edit editable plan.md file before executing. Now this comes directly from all of the stuff that people were doing beforehand, but it bakes it straight into Claude code itself. This is a massive change because when Anthropic does something, in my opinion, it's a hundred times better than when I do something or when some other person does something that doesn't necessarily fully understand how Claude works in the back end. So I just finished updating my school community with this information. And in my opinion, this is one of the bigger changes. Claude Opus 4.5 is really, really good, but making the plan mode specifically better is actually a massive change. Now, if you do want to join the school community, it'll be one of the links in the description of this video. You can see that I'm updating the school community basically every single day. We've got a lot of new members coming in right now. Thank you to everyone that's joining and I reply to every message, I reply to every post, and also every Thursday we have a call where you can talk to me live and ask me any questions, which is also part of the school community. If you do wanna join the school community, it'll be one of the links in the description and the pinned comment. Okay, so I'm now gonna show you an example of plan mode, which in my opinion completely blew me away. You might know that I have a project called SEO Grove. Now I'm not gonna put an advertisement for SEO Grove, but basically this is built on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript right now. And I had a theory that maybe changing from HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to Next.js would help with the ranking of the project. So what I did was, and by the way, this is a giant task. The front end here, just the front end, right? Not the entire project. The, the front end right here is, 20,000 lines of code, I would guess, maybe, maybe less, I'm not actually sure, but it's a big, big, big project. I would not have felt comfortable previously even attempting this, right? And what I said was I need help with a massive task. I want to convert the front end only as in everything that's not behind, log in, leave the dashboard as it is now, as that would be too complicated. First, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I, I want to do Next.js, et cetera, et cetera. So I put it in plan mode. I'll help you plan this conversion of the public facing front end to Next.js while keeping the authenticated dashboard on Flask. This is a significant architectural change that requires careful planning. Let me enter plan mode. So it put itself in plan mode because it understood that this was such a monumental task that it actually needed to plan. So that's another huge change in Claude code. This was previously not what would happen, right? Previously, what it would do is it would say, okay, let's do it and then just start doing it and it would completely fuck everything up, right? Instead, now what it actually does, and I do have evidence of that. I've, I, I did actually try this before doing this with plan mode, the new plan mode, and it did completely mess everything up, right? Enter plan mode. Claude is now exploring, designing an implementation appro uh, approach. Perfect, I'm now in plan mode. Let me start thoroughly exploring your code base to understand the current front end structure. Phase one, exploring current architecture. So this replaces context engineering. This replace, in my opinion, this replaces all of those MCPs and all those things that people spend ages and ages and ages developing. They've just come in with plan mode and just completely swept them to one side. Now I will tell you right now, I am an Anthropic fanboy, but what, I, what I'm more of a fanboy of is allowing these big ass billion dollar companies to make tools for us. When it's just some person, you know, from the street, maybe a bit of a developer, but not really, doesn't really have any help with the project. I'm not talking about Cole Medin, by the way. Cole Medin is a different breed. He's, he's an animal, he's a beast. I'm not talking about Cole Medin. When they come along and they make an MCP, for example, I don't want to use that MCP. I want to wait until the official MCP from the billion dollar company. Now, you might laugh at me there. You might say I'm stupid. That's just my opinion, right? 
I'm sure a lot of people will have a different opinion to me, but that's just how I think, right? So it came along, phase one, exploring current architecture. So it, it reads everything, right? It reads absolutely everything. And then it asks questions. Where do you want to host the next JS front end, right? Um, how do you want to handle the blog content? I said Astro, but that was a mistake. Well, what should happen after a user signs up, logs in, redirects a flash dashboard? Do you want to keep the same design and styling? Yes, exact per, uh, pixel perfect changeover. Perfect, I have most of the information I need, blah, blah, blah. Asked me another question, then I went back to Next.js instead of Astro. Number two, launching planning agents. So what it does here, this is the real game changer. It creates these plans and it puts them, you might be familiar with this from uh, various things like Convex and other things. It puts them in slightly weirdly named project files, right? And it puts it inside slash plans slash whatever. Now you could go here and you could change this if you wanted to, but look at what it does. It creates this giant plan. This is beyond just some random claw.md file or plan file or implementation.md. This is a real step-by-step -step implementation plan. And the best part about this is that it's self-referencing. So what does that mean? If we go down here, you'll see that the content, like look at this plan, it's insane. The plan here is absolutely crazy, right? And it had to run slash compact maybe three or four times and it never lost the thread of what it was doing, right? It just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. It's much more effective than the normal use of Claude code. And if we get the project running here, uh, get the project running, Okay, so this is what it built, right? I'll tell you right now, this is a hundred times better than it's a, a, a original, sorry guys, it's early, than it's a original attempt at building something, right? This is a hundred times better. Now it's not perfect, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's a hundred times better than its original attempt. And it actually sits on top of um, Grove as well, the dashboard. Obviously, Grove's not running right now, but that's fine. So like I said, there are still a couple of mistakes here, and I don't even know if I'm going through with this because somebody told me this wouldn't make a difference to SEO. I still personally think it would make a difference, but I understand that people don't think it will, so maybe there's no point doing it, whatever, right? That's not the point here. The point is it's ridiculously more powerful than the first attempt. Let me just see if I can find the first attempt. Okay, perfect. So it's right here. Um, get the project running. I actually use Claude Desktop with Claude Code without plan mode, right? Let's see the difference between plan mode and non-plan mode, right? So this is where kind of branch. Let's see if we can get running. Like the difference is almost laughable, right? This looks nothing like the original SEO growth. Now, the only thing that this has got going for it is that it did try to port my backend as well, right? Which is pretty interesting, but it didn't work. You can see this looks nothing like SEO Grove whatsoever. And this is the real power of plan mode. And in my opinion, this has replaced context engineering. This has replaced the BMAD method, which I never used, by the way. I was never a fan of it. In my opinion, it creates too much bloat. Instead, now we have a billion dollar company effectively saying to us, here is all of those methods condensed down into something that is built inside our application, which in my opinion is always going to be better. I think I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the school community and I'll see you very, very soon. Some more content. Peace out.